Greeting mortals. Thanks for joining Gina's Grooming Channel. I have traveled far and wide and delved into my elven wisdom to come to Middle Earth to teach all of you how to make adorable Halloween bows for your dogs. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in, but before we do, let's give some light and go ahead and show you guys three different designs that I do for my clients, but you can do this for your dogs at home to make them participate in the fun of the holidays. So of course we're doing Halloween today, and we're gonna be doing three designs um, that I'm gonna take you through step by step so you can go ahead and dress up your dog so they can have fun with you. The first bow that we're going to be making is a collar bow, but if we make it smaller, we can also put this on ears of dogs and I'm going to show you that also. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to make this collar bow. Okay, we're going to need to have a pair of scissors, make sure they cut well. Some rubber bands, I'm going to go ahead and put in the description below the rubber bands that I use that are really hardy for this work and that you can use a glue gun on for future projects as well. We need some satin ribbon. This is grooming ribbon. I use two colors to make it a little fancier. And then what we have is some tool. Now this is tool, you can get sparkling tool or you can have tool with these have holographic dots um, just for a little more fun. Okay, so what we start with, we wanna go ahead and cut two strips of our tool. Um, I make them about an inch and a half to two inches and I just go ahead and cut up my tool. Okay, so two strips of tool per bow. All right, then we've got our ribbon. So I went ahead and cut the edges of this ribbon diagonally. That just makes it a nice finish. And I go ahead and cut in the same diagonal direction below, about a foot and a half or so. Now I take one end, I hold it between my thumb and my index finger, and I start looping it around my fingers. This is how I control how big this bow is. So if I went ahead and made my fingers smaller and looped around there, it would be a smaller bow. I can also expand my fingers and make a bigger bow. So this is a nice medium sized bow. I keep an eye on where those ends are. I make to push them off to the side. Okay, now here's the trick to these bows. We wanna go ahead and bend in the middle. Make sure you don't pinch these sides, okay? And then what we're gonna do is take our scissors, we're gonna make a little notch on one side, okay? Flip it around, make another little notch, okay? Then I'm gonna open it up. Remember, we're not gonna push on these loops at all. We don't wanna squeeze these. But this is where those two pieces of tool come in. So I'm gonna go ahead, put one on one side, okay? And then the other one on the other side. Make sure I kind of know where I am. Take my rubber band and I'm gonna go ahead and band the middle of this three times. Okay, kind of know where you are. Okay, so that's one. Make sure you take all of that tool and get it around through. Okay, then the third one. Okay. Pull all that tool through. Okay, good. Two on one side, two on the other. Now what I do, because it's a collar bow, I always add another rubber band. So I just basically knot it on the bottom. And this allows me to now put it on a collar or put it on a bandana. So now we have to form this bow. What we do, if it was only one color, I would do this counterclockwise. So this one's clockwise. I'm gonna do another clockwise twist. Then I'm gonna do counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Basically the idea is that you wanna make sure that these guys get twisted in different directions so that they look nice and full. Pull that tool up. I'm gonna go ahead, this is a little long on the edge. Go ahead and cut my fingers on the rubber band on the bottom. And then you have the decision to go ahead and cut this tool, the edges to make it pop a little more, or you can leave it long for a little more drastic effect. But that's it, that's our Halloween super spooky collar bow. Let's go ahead and see some of our models sporting this bow. Our first adorable model sporting this bow look is Mr. Miyagi. He is a Yorkie, look at him, sporting this amazing look. And our next is an adorable Havanese boy, Romeo. Look how cute he is. 
and for a little bit of a variation on the collar bows. Let's go ahead and take a look at Daisy, who is sporting these bows on her ears. So basically what we did is made the bows a little smaller, put little clips on them so we can put them on her ears. So the second bow that I'm going to show you is going to be really mainly focused on dogs with tie-ups, top knots, little ponytails. So let's go ahead and give them a very creepy look for Halloween and let's see how it's done. Okay, so what you will need, you will need a pair of scissors, some rubber bands, some clips. I have beads of different types. So I have regular plain beads. These are black beads, but they have a hole. And then I've got some skull beads to make them super creepy. And of course, we've got our Halloween themed satin grooming ribbon. We have a glue gun. Make sure you have enough glue sticks on hand for your project. And we have some fancy black tool. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you how it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and select what color ribbon I want. Any Halloween colors work great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select black. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cut it maybe about six inches or so. I can make this shorter later. I go ahead and cut it on a diagonal. And then I go ahead, you know, the breast cancer ribbon that you see, you kind of want to make it into this shape, okay? And then you push the middle of the bow in. What we're looking at is the back of the bow right now. So always remember when you're forming it, you're looking at the back. I take my rubber band three times in the middle. Okay, one, two, Three. Okay, you're gonna fix this as we go along. Again, looking at the back of the bow, we can go ahead, flip it over, and take a look. Okay, so now we've got a little simple black bow, but we're gonna make it much fancier. Okay, so in order to start, I'm gonna go ahead to get to my tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut an angled V. So I'm gonna go ahead, you can see, Cut it so that it's a little wider at the end than at the bottom. Okay. So with this, and then I look at the end, I can leave this straight, or what I like to do is go ahead and bend them in, kind of over each other in an accordion pattern. And what this allows you to do is with one cut, you make the ends jagged, okay? So this is gonna be a little black veil um, for the dogs. Now I'm going to choose my beads. I can either push this through a black bead. I'm going to go ahead and select one of my skull beads to make it extra super Halloween-y creepy. Okay, and the idea is I want to go ahead and insert this tool into the little hole on the top of the bead. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make this easier to work with. Now if you need help, you can get like a kitchen skewer which I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'll be right back. Okay, got a kitchen skewer to help me with this work. Basically, I just wanna make sure that I push the tool down into the bead and I can pull it a little bit, okay, on the bottom to get this to kind of stand up. So you wanna find that sweet spot, pull it, okay? Because what I wanna do is fold it up, okay, with my glue. So first I put a little dab of glue, careful glue gun, and obviously choking hazard on all the bows. I'm gonna go ahead up and then I'm going to go ahead and cut this excess off. Okay, so what do I got? I got a little bead with the skull, okay, and then I'm going to go get my bow over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place this skull bead onto my bow. But before I do that, I always like to put it on a clip. It also gives you a little more control. So I buy these clips for this reason. Again, guys, this could be a choking hazard for your dogs. So always under your supervision. Don't let them swallow this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Remember, this is now the front of the bow. That was the back where we were making it. I go ahead and glue it onto the clip. Form it while I'm doing it. Again, you can use your kitchen skewer for this stuff too. So you don't have to get your hands too hot in the glue. Okay, so now I've got my bow on my clip. Just put a little dab of glue right in the middle. And this is where the rubber band is very important because if you don't have the right rubber band, it can snap from the heat of that glue. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, get my little skull, make sure it's facing the right way. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on 
the bow right in the middle. All right. So here we go. It's like a little black wedding. And you can go ahead and put this on the top of your dog's uh, tie up or top knot. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of our adorable models sport sporting this super evil Halloween look. First up, we have Mitzi. Now Mitzi is doing our variation when we talked about the black bead. So Mitzi is wearing her bride look, but with a black bead. And let's take a look at adorable Jazzy sporting this look. Ooh, spooky. And last but not least, look at Sugar. Wow, so evil. And the third and final bow, it's not really a bow, it's more of a novelty item that I ran into and I just thought it was so cute um, and it was something that I did this year. So I found these felt hat garlands um, at my drugstore and what I did is I went ahead and just with a few little items made them into really cute things that you can go ahead and clip on to your top knots or the side of your dog's head or by their ears. So let's go ahead and take a look at what you need to get this done. Okay, so what will we need for this project? We need our scissors. We need different colored types of tool. We're gonna need some clips because we wanna make sure that this goes on the dog's head or their top knot or the size of their ears. These are felt witch hats. Again, this is a garland, but you can probably find them as well. And we need a glue gun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut my tool. I'm gonna choose a tool that has a color that'll stand out against whichever hat I chose to work with. Okay, so here I have three strips. and I'm gonna cut them in the middle. So then I have six squares of varying sizes. It doesn't really matter. But what we wanna do is go ahead and gather them, okay, to a little point. Okay, put some glue on them your tool and then we go ahead and start placing this tool so after doing that around with the green tool um, what I'm also going to do is take a clip um, and glue it hot glue it to the front so with these felt hats there's a seam in the back and this is where it was connected to the garland we don't want to show that side but we want to go ahead and put the clip in the front so we can go ahead and clip that onto a top knot or a tie up, okay, on the ponytail of the dog so that this sits on their head or on the side of their ears. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of our adorable models sporting the little witch hat. First we have Harley. Look how cute she looks in that hat. And we have Sadie, adorable little spooky witch. And let's take a look at Lily. Aw. So adorable and spooky. And let's take a look at our adorable old girl. Let's see Shayna sporting her little witch hat. Well guys, thanks for joining on our fun craft time to make cute little bows and little hats that you can put on your dog to make them have fun with this season. If you like this video, remember to click that thumbs up, subscribe for more like it, and remember to have a very spooky and happy Halloween.